Good morning viewers and welcome back to another episode. Today we're dealing with a uh, 2018 uh, Chevy Malibu 1.5 uh, turbo engine, customer complaint, check engine light. Um, I uh, have been here before. I scanned the vehicle and I did a diagnose and unfortunately this is not the first time I record. I lost the footage for diagnosing this vehicle. So, but I'm going to uh, share with you guys uh, my findings. Vehicle has a, a two stored codes, not requested, past not requested, history codes, and two current codes. The two were stored P0121 throttle position sensor performance, P0236 turbocharged boost sensor performance and ironically I was yesterday uh, on the same uh, code on a uh, different vehicle what was it a, a Chevy Equinox and I, I regret not uh, recording it but I will tell you guys what it was uh, the current code P0299 engine under boost and P1101 intake airflow system performance. So let, let me take you guys under the hood. When it comes to this combination of codes, uh, the system is too complicated and there's many, many uh, components involved. It all has to do with the air coming from here to the intake. And uh, I explained to the owner what we're dealing with. And uh, I told him our options and one of one of the options was to uh, sacrifice a $70 and get the throttle body because it's a, uh, a big player when it comes to, to these codes. Especially we had a stored codes for the throttle position sensor performance. But I, by the way, I did check, uh, where is it, right here, I did check uh, the inputs for and the outputs for the throttle body and uh, I told him that we could open it and clean it and he said no I I I rather get a new one he doesn't want to have the same problem again let me pause to pull the wiring diagram for the throttle body here's the throttle body on this car and as you see one two three four five it has five uh, wires the yellow one is throttle actuator control open and this goes to the motor so this should be the close let me see I might be mistaken yet yeah, this is the close so it's a it's a motor with two wire reverse polarity will be open and close and these are for the sensor the three lines come to uh, throttle position sensor volt reference throttle position sensor uh, what is that sensor signal sensor one signal and throttle throttle position sensor low reference right here so I checked these wires and uh, everything was good so I told him we either dealing with a clockage and this tube which is new they replaced it or we are dealing with a bad throttle body or I mean uh, this is what it is and it's all about the money to them uh, I, I, I told him do you want me to spend the money on the Diag and pinpoint exactly what it is or do you want just to get the throttle body and change it and I know I'm, I'm losing this way but they are winning and uh, this is my goal 
uh, my goal is I look at these cars just like they are mine and I try to fix them the cheapest possible way so the throttle body was 70 something on Amazon and it's uh, GM genuine this is the part number one two six seven one three seven nine a genuine part GM it was 70 something dollars it came up to 80 dollars total and it would make sense actually to change the throttle body uh, so we are going to do this and see if it will make any difference and by the way I think there is a engine reduce uh, power uh, message on the dashboard that is worth mentioning so let's get to it so we're going to start with removing this right here and hopefully I'm not going to break it. Okay, and then what's that? Either 10 or 11. So small. Yeah, it's not moving as smooth as the other one, and it's definitely not clean. But I might be wrong. Right, let's bring the. There's a blue seal here. Be careful not to pinch it or get it uh, out of its spot. power is reduced so I'm going to put the key on again the codes they are gone and let's start the vehicle Let me see if there is any uh, relearning. I did relearning or something that we need to do. Okay, washer fluid, hood open. Um, let me shut it off. Start it again. 
starts right up. Okay, rev it. Alright, let's scan it again. Engine control module, trouble codes, DTC display. Passed and failed, not requested. Passed, not requested. Intake airflow system performance. Intake airflow system performance. Uh, passed, not requested. That's a good sign, passed, not requested. Oh, not history, but passed. Um, we have to take it in a test drive. All right, test drive it. I wanna show you guys something. You have to put the key on by pressing the button for five seconds without hitting the brake. Okay, now the key on, you go back, you go to special functions and you have to do intake, system, learn, value, reset. And you do activate. After you do this, you exit out of here and I'm about to take it in the test drive. I think these codes come instantly, especially the P0236. I was dealing with it yesterday and that code actually, the, uh, the engine control module measures the, uh, the boost pressure sensor uh, reading and it has to be between 6 and 16.7 psi and the uh, customer uh, sensor was reading um, 18.4 without with, with the key on without engine running and uh, so after testing the uh, circuit integrity I told him that we need a new sensor although he bought that sensor from the dealer and uh, it was weird to me to call another OEM sensor uh, he got me the sensor and it was the same reading it wasn't the sensor again when uh, when I say I, I was wrong I was wrong and yesterday I was wrong because the correct call nobody would ever ever uh, expect what it is it was the inner cooler actually I'm gonna leave that to uh, the, the rest of the explanation on the uh, uh, computer to show you guys better right now we're driving car drives fine I don't have any check engine light so far I think this is enough for me I'm gonna park it back there and give it to the owner and tell him to uh, drive it uh, look like they changed the bulbs to LED all right I'm gonna pause and bring you guys back in front of the computer here we go I'm gonna do a Old scan one last time just to make sure that there is no code and engine control module pass no fault one code in the ABS electric brake control module body control module two codes these are where here when we started, so I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about the check engine light and the uh, reduced engine power uh, message.
All right, what do we have here? Portrait control mode, indicated traction control. And uh, turn lamp circuit short to battery. Tail lamp circuit open. That's it. Okay, uh, one last time. Start the vehicle. And no lights on the dashboard. So when it comes to the 18 Equinox, this is the inner cooler and this is the sensor that I was talking about and it sits right here in this uh, inside the cylinder so the customer bought this piece from uh, eBay and it's an aftermarket eBay and believe it or not it came this this inside right there it came not through so you we had to drill it in order to get the correct reading for the sensor the sensor was sitting in a, in a place that's why it was generating 18.4 and when you take this o-ring it will give you the the barometric pressure which was 14.7 or something but uh, it was really interesting case and i really regret not uh filming it but i'm glad that today i am uh, uh kind of similar uh symptoms also the uh, equinox had the uh, reduced engine power uh, message on a dashboard but all of these are related all of them you just make sure that these seals are a hundred percent there is no leakage you make sure that this has no clog in it i even told him hey did the car have an accident in the front he said yes did you guys change these tubing he said yes i said make sure that uh, uh, like even the smallest possibility, which is uh, probably inside these uh, non-professional uh, body shops, there is a tra trash bag that got sucked in that tube. Uh, er anything, anything that will uh, restrict air going to the throttle body. So uh, it was an interesting case. I know this one is going to help a lot of people. 2018 Chevy uh, Malibu with a 1.5 turbo boosted engine and uh, thank you guys for watching please uh, if the video was helpful to you or to somebody else like uh, if you have any questions or any thoughts feel free to comment below I really appreciate your time have a wonderful day One more thing need to be done, throttle body idle airflow compensation reset. And you do reset, I have already done it. Make sure that both sensors one and two agree with each other. Is that throttle body 16 and throttle position 16. They agree with each other, the two sensors.